Well, Happy New Year, everybody, and especially Happy New Year to my members, everyone who's joined the channel. Um, I've been really amazed by the response on YouTube. I think these EV repairs are still quite niche, and so people are quite interested. But yeah, thank you for the response, and to, particularly to everyone who's joined my channel. So it might be a new year, but we're doing the same jobs. So this is a Zoe 40. It's a 2018, so it's only a sort of six, seven year old car. Got the stack out. Guess what? Let's have a listen. Yep, don't need to spin it that fast. You can hear the bearings have gone. That end bearing's definitely gone, possibly the other one. I haven't taken the control box off yet. I've just popped the reduction gear off. Reduction gear oil is also really, really dark. So mainly in the reduction gear. And the motor rebuilding. And it just kind of got me thinking really, because this car basically epitomizes the issues with the state of EV repair um, in the UK right now in that this customer um, lives in Manchester. So I'm based in Essex. The customer does some work in London. So basically, London's obviously closer to where I am. We've had to um, arrange this logistical operation where the customer would drop the car to me. He was actually driving it. The bearings are not terrible and it did actually get quieter as he drove it. Which is kind of interesting don't usually do that it usually gets noisier and it's usually really not advisable to drive it customers really lucky in this case that he could kind of keep driving it but obviously eventually that will that will break down but yeah we've had to arrange this massive logistical exercise where um when he finished his shift he drove it down and then he got a hire car and all this kind of stuff i dropped him to the bus and all of this and it's just ridiculous and really the issue is that these kind of jobs i know this is a big job but you know, a clutch on a fossil car is a big job. But we must get to the point where your local garage will do a big job like this. Okay, I rebuild the motors. Not everyone will do that. Uh, maybe they fit a second-hand motor or I do like motor exchange for some garages where I take them a rebuilt one and then I take away the one that they've just taken out and then I have a look at it, see if we can rebuild it. Because some, you know, not have got other issues and we can't rebuild them. But, you know, I rebuild them if possible or... Um, advise them on sourcing a second-hand motor, that kind of thing. But we've got to get to the point where every local garage, independent garage, can do big EV jobs, just like they'll do your clutch or whatever. I had to get a clutch done on a fossil car a while ago. And, um, yeah, I, I found somewhere to do it. It's not a job I'd do. And, um, yeah, I found somewhere to do it, local garage, compared a few prices, and I got it done. Um, and, yeah, that wasn't too difficult. But yet, something like this, basically the guy said he just couldn't get anywhere to do it. There are lots of garages that will do servicing on EVs and do those kind of maintenance jobs. But not many will get this involved. I mean, how do we get to that point where every garage, every local garage, can do this kind of work on your EV so that you don't have to drive halfway across the country? Um, and I was also chatting to a guy in Falkirk, which is a very long way from where I'm based. Um, and he was considering trucking his car to me because he can't find anyone else to do it. And also, when you compare prices for things, you might have a few local garages. You know, if it's a big, big job, you might have a few local garages and you chat to a few and you get a feel for it and you go with the one you're happiest with. Well, if you're stuck with one garage and you don't really like them, you might not want to take it there. So we need to get to the point where, you know, you've got a choice and you can take it somewhere you're happy with. Um, I have to say, there are some really, really good independent garages. So particularly uh, Cedar Electric in Worthing. They do high voltage battery repairs, motors, you know, anything and everything. Um, and chatted with them about a few different issues. And they had recently had a Zoe where had various issues. And when they looked inside this control box, it was actually charring inside. So um, this, can I just put that one down? So that cable comes from the battery and then it connects onto here. So this is like the main battery power onto the motor stack. And inside here, it was all charred and burnt. It looks like these weren't kind of, well, they weren't quite done up or it had work done in the past or anyway, something was loose inside here. Really uncommon, I have to say. And that was all charred. Um, and I basically found them the parts. Uh, but yeah, they will they will get involved. And um, there was actually follow on issues with that car, that, 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 that charring caused other issues. And I think that's what makes garages nervous. They're a little bit nervous. They'll get so far like this and then not know what to do that it will take too long and time is money and they could be doing other profitable things. But we got to get those garages over that lump so that they're happy to do it. 
And it's a debate I have with garages quite regularly. Um, you may well have heard of Hevra, Hybrid and Electric um, Vehicle Repairers Alliance, which is basically like a club. Garages can join and then they get support. So they've got like diagnostic guys. Um, and I do some work with them as well with Hevra. And they help garages with repairs. So advise them on how to do this and do lots of testing and common faults and test plans and all that kind of stuff. Um, but also have a website and then you know you can go and look at your local Hevra garage but some of them just want to do servicing which is fine we need service garages but yeah how how do we get garages confident to do this kind of work it's going to take time but yeah what's your what's your best idea of how we encourage garages to take this on and to become specialist um, another really good garage is DB Car Doctor in Duxford Cambridgeshire he will take on anything he had a couple of our paces in recently front motor issues, onboard charger issues, he's done repairs inside, leaf batteries, that kind of stuff. There are those garages who will get stuck in and are really forward thinking and willing to take on anything, but lots of garages, maybe the person who runs it's a bit older and they're not really sure about EVs and don't want to go and do their training, but it's not onerous. I think that's one of the, one of the big issues. Garages think it's going to be really onerous to start working on EVs. I did read um, an article, a newspaper article recently that said a garage owner was concerned he couldn't work on EVs and it was going to take him £20,000 to be ready to do EV jobs. To be honest, that's absolute nonsense. Okay, there's some insurance implications, you need to do some training. Depends exactly what you want to do. You can do your basic safety training and then you can do servicing on EVs. But if you want to get really stuck in, you need to do a bit more advanced training about the architecture and common faults and that kind of stuff. Join trade organisations, maybe like Hevra, that kind of thing. But it's certainly not £20,000, the training's nowhere near that. And yeah, it's just a big concern at the moment that people are having to truck their cars all over the country. And it really devalues the EVs, I think, because people are worried, if it goes wrong, where am I gonna get them fixed? And then when they do break down, oh, I don't wanna pay, it's expensive, it's not everyone knows how to do it, what if I have another problem with it? You know, all those concerns, how do we get over that lump so that people are happy, confident that they can get their EV fixed? when they need to and they can compare the prices and say right yeah i'm happiest with that garage and they get it fixed yeah answers on a postcard so well i'm going to continue to strip this down i just pop that reduction gear off because i wanted to check the motor i really need to advise customer that we should replace that reduction gear as well because the oil's so dark on it um it was really like a sort of black treacle um whereas it should be like golden syrup um if that all makes sense so yeah an interesting one i'll get this off strip that wiring loom off take that off um, and then proceed to strip the motor apart and fit the bearings get it all back together see what the customer wants to do about the reduction gear yeah interesting on this car there's quite a lot of corrosion on that front subframe unit i should apologize the workshop is an absolute mess um but um yeah customer wants their car back on friday so um today's tuesday and i'm out all day thursday so yeah um but yeah, you know, so that really wants an hour spending on it, rubbing it down and um, yeah, and sort of, uh, yeah, treating it, rust treatment, primer and paint. But um, yeah, we'll see about that one. Everything takes time. But yeah, let me know what you think and how do we get to that point where we can get major EV issues repaired easily. All right, cool. Take care and I'll catch you later. Cheers.